We're standing here in a soybean field at Jay Martin's out in Clyde, New York. General health, very good, very nice color, very dark. Um, the plant height is uh, a little over four foot. This year has been an exceptional growing year. One of the issues that we have this year is white mold. Jay's beans are normally about waist high. Right now they're almost a foot taller than they normally are at harvest time. And we still have a little growing season left. These beans are probably going to get another six or eight inches taller. So we're going to look at the general health. We pulled the rows back a little bit here so, you, so we can get a bird's eye view of what's happening down here. And if we look down in here, we can see the plants are, are fairly healthy. You look at all these pods down here. Uh, they start about six inches off the ground. Lots of three bean pods, four bean pods, all the way up here. And what the so if you look up here, we're almost to the top of the plant and follow my finger up. We've got a couple two bean pods up here, but we still have up here a four bean pod. All right. The foliar feeding of the NutriPlant AG and the manganese help with this situation up here. They help the plant finish off what it started, giving it enough nutrition, stimulating the plant so it'll grow. The root system will pull nutrients up through the root system and help the plant finish off. The We're going to walk along the row here. If you look at this corn right here, you can see that there's some white mold issues there. Right here. A little bit of white there. And as we move down the row here, the general health of the plants are in pretty good shape. Go down the row a little bit further, and we got a pot on this plant here that's infected. But if you look at the rest of the health of the plant, look up the plant here, it's still healthy. We're going to move down the row a little bit further. No plants infected in this area. Let me go down the row about another. We we'll move down the row now about uh, 15, 20 feet. And this is the plant, first plant here that we've seen that's significantly infected. You can see the white mold right here. Uh, this is going to move up the plant. You can see some of the top leaves here that are infected. The only encouraging thing is that if you look at the pods, they do have some substance to them. We will get a little bit of a yield out of these. Um, it's hard to say at this point how much yield it'll be, but we will see something. Normally the white mold infects a little bit quicker and it devastates the plant and you don't see any yield, yield from that. And that's what the manganese and the NutriPlant AG will do. It'll, it'll reduce, it won't prevent in most cases, but it will reduce the yield loss. But we're gonna move down to the base of the plant here. We're gonna look a little bit at the bottom and see what kind of pressure we see as far as white mold. So if you look down here at the base of the plant, this one in general is pretty healthy. Uh, if we move just a little bit on the ground and we look right here, we can see some white mold on this corn and right back here on a leaf that fell off one of the plants. And now we're going to move down the row a little bit. Just a foot away, we have another plant here that has some white mold on it. We're going to move down the row a little bit again. And as we move down the row, keep moving down the row a little bit, and we move down the row about two feet. We have a plant here that's infected. And if you look up the plant here, you can see the pods. I'll hold them with my finger. Those pods are dying. They're not going to produce anything. This one might. As you look up the stem here, you can see more dead pods. Those have no chance of producing any kind of yield. We're going to move down the row a little bit. 
A couple inches away from that plant, we have two more plants infected. And we move down the row a little bit further, about a foot from there, we have another plant infected. And as we move down the row a little bit further, you can see we have three plants infected right here. Now we've just moved about eight feet down the row and we have already have a half a dozen plants infected. So if we look out into the field here, just in a general proximity, see this area right here? White mold. The plant devastation right here. And if you look out a little bit further, another plant there. And if we pull back just a little bit, this pattern repeats itself across the field. About three feet or so in between patches of white mold to the tops of the plants. That will significantly affect the end yield potential of this field. Now we're looking in the check, we're going to look at uh, white mold pressure. And if we look down here at the base of the plant, you can see that this plant's infected. A little bit more infected than actually the Nutra plant and the manganese plant was. Again, with the moisture that we've had this year and the humidity, white mold can be a big issue. So, not spraying can give you those pressures and with the application of manganese and Nutriplan AG on this farm here in Clyde we've seen a reduction in those problem areas that can creep up in soybeans. This is Rob Grusho coming from Clyde, New York looking at some soybeans where Grusho International is rooted in your success. For more information, you can contact Rob Grusho at 585-410-2665 or to set up an appointment.